All right, welcome back everybody. And in this video, we are going to be creating a lighting system for our, um, our project. And um, in this case, we're gonna create a daylight system. And what a daylight system is, is it is a physically accurate light uh, that simulates the sun. Uh, the sun, of course, is a directional light. Uh, so it's physically accurate, as I said, and therefore, uh, that's why it's so important that your model be to scale and that it not be a gajillion miles off of zero. So if I select an object from this scene and I right click on it, I can see that its position in world space is you know, 600 off of zero, 500 off of zero, minus 500, minus 2000 off of zero. That is not too bad but it's um uh, it's when you get into you know 50,000 units away 50,000 feet away uh, things get really really weird so you want to make sure that your model is as close to uh, zero as it can be and heck if you have to move it you might as well move it to zero uh, the problem with that is if you have a problem with the model you have to re-import something then um you're gonna you're gonna have uh an interesting time trying to fit it back into your zero model so uh, just some of the things to be aware of when you're working with these um, these large large data sets that are really far away from zero okay so that said let's go ahead and create the uh, the daylight system oh and I should note that it's important for the daylight system uh, the actual Sun to be at zero uh, as well so or at least not far away from zero so we'll say zero <laughs> for argument's sake. All right, so come up here to the Create panel, go on over to Systems, click on Daylight. And when you click on Daylight, it's gonna bring up this dialog that says, hey, you're about to do this. Uh, all this stuff's gonna happen. Are you sure you wanna do it? And you say, absolutely, I wanna do it, computer. Uh, so I clicked OK, and I haven't done anything else yet. It's waiting on me. And we have this little message down here that says click and drag to create a sun system. Okay. So as I'm dragging, which means I'm holding down the left mouse and um, not letting go of it, and I'm dragging, um, I'm just adjusting the size of the compass. It doesn't matter how big the compass is at all. Uh, it only matters that it is there. So I let go, and it says, all right, you are creating a MR sky, which means a mental ray sky. It is also recommended you add a physical sky environment map, which does some things that we don't need to talk about. Uh, just say yes. All right, and so I said yes. I haven't done anything else, and now uh, the sun object is waiting for me to uh, click my mouse so it can know where to land. Please note that I am not dragging anything. I have not done anything besides check the uh, or select yes on that option box so um, it doesn't matter how far the Sun is away from the compass uh, as I said before the Sun is a directional light so um, where it's not about distance from anything it's just uh, direction right the vector if you will so now I can select the compass and I just want to align it to a little bit better to my my uh, my model it's not necessary but um, I'm doing it so I press alt a for align and um, I select the thing I want to align it to and uh, this dialog box comes up and it says alright what do you want to do well I want to go to the pivot of that object maybe not I'm gonna go to the center of the object oh it's saving alright and I say okay and now my son is, uh, not my son, but the son, is kind of mixed in here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the sun object. And we have all these options here. We see sunlight, skylight, um, and position. So what we're concerned about right now is position. So you can either set it up according to... Um, the lat launch of where your uh, facility is actually being built or you just click on manual and you can move come here select and move and you can move the Sun around 
just by wherever you feel like putting it, wherever it's going to make uh, make uh, the most dramatic light and the most impact. Um, but it would, it's also very nice to be able to say to your client, "Hey, Mr. Client, uh, I or Mrs. Client, client individual, <laughs> uh, you can." I can put this wherever you want. I can show you what it's going to look like in December 2014 at, you know, 6 o'clock in December. Uh, and, and they might really like that. So uh, you definitely have that option. Uh, to do that, you would just select the date, time, location, and go over here to Setup, and adjust your time of day, adjust the... Um, the month and the day and uh, the year and all that good stuff. Um, the location you can set up. If you select get location, uh, you have all these choices, or you can manually punch in the lat launch, and it will um, it will accurately simulate light uh, for that lat launch uh, over the course of a year or two years or however many years you want to go. Back to 1950. D3 or 1850 I don't know it's way back there okay orbital scale right so if your Sun is like way down here and you can't really tell uh, what the vector is uh, to what the sorry what the direction of the light is then you just adjust your orbital scale and you can um, move it back out and see what is going on all right so I like the manual way unless uh, the client specifically wants to see uh, time and date of um, that location so that looks pretty good so uh, right so the next thing we're gonna do I think that covers the uh, the light uh, the, sorry the um, the daylight system so what we're gonna do now is adjust the viewport settings so that we can actually see the light and the shadows and and start putting some um, some prettiness around this so uh, we're going to do that in the next lesson. Thanks a lot. See you there.